9 millimeter XTP challenge. We have 115 grain American Gunner, 124 grain loaded by Red Mountain Arsenal, and 147 grain Hornady Custom. We'll test them through one layer of denim, layer of fleece, two layers of cotton t-shirt material into homemade ballistics gel. 1029 1076 Okay, here's where the uh, the uh, LC9S went in. Here's where the SIG went in. You can see the wound tracks in there. Went into the second block. The right there is where the uh, LC9S ended, that's where the SIG ended. LC9S is in there at, leading edge is at 16 inches, and it's 15 inches for the, uh, for the SIG. We'll dig those out. So there's the 115 from the LC9S. There it is from the SIG. So. Okay. 115 from the LC9S, 115 from the SIG. Now we'll test the 124. 996. 1,041. Okay. The uh, 3.1 inch entered up here. And it made it down into the gel, down to there. That is roughly... 16 and a half inches. And right above that... Right above that, the uh, 3.7 inch exited the block at 17 inches. So we'll dig out the, uh, the 3.1. Here's the, the 124 green through the 3.1 inch barrel. And I'll take another shot with the uh, with the 3.7 inch barrel. 1036. Okay, that round entered here at the top. Pretty good moon channel in there. And traveled into the second block all the way down to here. So that is a distance of, leading edge is at 18 and a quarter inches and I'll go ahead and I'll dig that out here there we go and that was from the 3.7 inch uh, SIG P365XL next up we'll try the Hornady 147 grains Okay, the block was a little cloudy. Here was that uh, replacement shot of the 147. It got to um, 15 and a half inches in the gel. Okay, again, we had the uh, Hornady. These are the 147 grains. Um, this one through the LC9S made it to about 15 and a half inches in the gel. Through the um, SIG P365XL, it made it to about 17 inches in the gel. Um, so again, with all these, pretty decent uh, penetration. Expansion was okay. 
And uh, we'll take a few more shots here in a little bit just to uh, get some uh, average speeds. And uh, we'll measure them back at home. Okay, welcome back from the range. Uh, as you saw, we had a uh, XTP Fest or XTP Off or Challenge or whatever you want to call it between the 115 grain American Gunner XTPs by Hornady, 124 grain XTPs uh, loaded by Red Mountain Arsenal, and 147 grain um, Hornady Custom XTPs. Um, each of them performed, I thought, quite well. Uh, you had your typical uh, XTP results where there's really good penetration and okay expansion, and they all did that. Um, as far as uh, what was new this time, is, as you saw, I have a chronograph now, so I was able to get some, some speeds. Uh, most of them I got uh, at least two um, speeds. We had a little bit of issue with cloud cover and, and overcast skies, and so the chronograph was uh, erroring more than, than I would like. Hopefully in the future um, that, that won't be the case, but um, most of them I got at least two solid tests. I think the 3.7 inch of the 115 grain, I only got one uh, good test result. And so that won't be an average, um, but I did go ahead and, and average out speeds and um, using those average speeds, I did come up with energy computations that, that we'll present here as we, as we go along, uh, but they all did quite well. Um, uh, we'll we'll uh, just go ahead here and start uh, weighing them up and talking about them here. Um, the uh, 3.1 inch, we'll start with 3.1 inch. Um, of the 115 grain. Uh, this one made it to 16 inches in the gel. This round is from the 3.1 inch um, LC9S. 16 inches in, or excuse me, yeah, 16 inches in the gel. Um, uh, let's check the weight here. Spot on with the weight. Um, and measurements, uh, expansions were 0 0.45, 0 0.47, and the max expansion was 0.5 inches. There's a little bit of a, a wing on each side there. That was a half an inch. Um, the uh, Out of the 3.7 inch, it made it not quite as deep. This one made it to 15 inches in the gel. Uh, expansion on this one was uh, 0 0.43, 0 0.45, and 0 0.48 at the max. Um, this one here lost a little bit of lead in there. Um, and you can see... Um, on this side here, you can see that some of these, uh, the petals were, were, were possibly broken off in there. So this one did lose a little bit of lead somewhere in the gel. Um, but overall still a, a solid performance on that one. Uh, we move up to the 124 green. Again, this was, uh, the 115 of the 124. I already owned those. Uh, I just had to pick up the 147s before I went to the range. Um, and uh, again, um, the 124 is here from the 3.1 inch. This made it to about 16 and a half inches in the gel. And uh, this one weighs up right there. Did not lose any weight. Um, and this one, um, expansion was 0 0.46, 0 0.47, and the max was 0.49 inches. Uh, 3.7 inch, uh, again, similar, just that XTP expansion. Not a lot of it, but 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 decent expansion. Uh, this one made it to 18 and a quarter inches in the gel. This was the second shot I took because the first one exited the block at 17 inches. It kind of took a right-hand turn and exited. Um, so this was the only one that went over the FBI, and by over, I mean by a quarter of an inch. So that's that's very minimal. Uh, expansion on this is 0 0.45, 0 0.45, and 0.46 at the max. And again, also lost no weight. And then we we'll move up to the 147s. Um, these were, again, the uh, Hornady um, um, Customs. Uh, from the 3.1 inch, this made it to 15 and a half inches in the gel. This one had real, these ones had real uh, 
quite quite good expansion actually. Um, and I just bought these the day before I went to the range. Uh, again, no weight loss on that one. Expansion was 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0.53 inches from the 3.1 inch barrel. And then from the 3.7 inch barrel, uh, this one made it to, to 17 inches. Had a couple of these uh, pedals that turned into little wings here on the side. And this one made, uh, let's check the weight there. Uh, again, no weight loss on that one. Um, again, 17 inches of penetration, 0 0.5, 0 0.56, and 0 0.61 inches where that where that wing is. Um, overall, really, really solid results from each of these. Um, as far as energy computation goes, um, from the 3.1 inch barrel, from the 115, the average velocity was 1,029 feet, which equates to 270 foot-pounds. Um, from the 3.7-inch barrel, it was 1,076 feet, which equates to 296 foot-pounds of energy. From the 124, the 3.1 averaged 989, which is 269 foot-pounds of energy. The 3.7-inch uh, was 1,036 feet per second, that averaged 295 foot-pounds of energy. For the 147 grains, the um, 3.1 inch uh, was 968 feet per second, which equated to 306 foot-pounds of energy. And for the 3.7 inch, it was 1,025 feet per second, which was 343 foot-pounds of energy. So essentially the 115 and the 124 from both barrel lengths were very, very similar in, in energy. Um, the the 3.7 was a slightly higher, about 25 foot-pounds of energy more than the 3.1 inch. Um, but, but otherwise they were basically the same, whether you had the 115 or the 124 green, the energy was the same. But there was a pretty big jump up with the 147s of about 14% uh, from the 3.1 inch barrel and about 16% from the 3.7 inch barrel. So um, though these rounds were, were more expensive for me when I bought them, um, they were probably worth the difference. And the 147s did have the best overall performance if you look at uh, penetration, expansion, and actual um, energy uh, of the round, the 147 is the clear winner of all of these. But again, they all did quite well. Um, I do want to note that for the 147s, I bought them locally at Cabela's. I paid $30 for a box of 25 rounds. That was $1.20 a round, um, which is way more than I normally would pay. Uh, as you know from prior videos, I bought the 124 green Federal HSTs for like $0.56 cents a round. I did look online. I think you can get these for closer to 60 to 70 cents a round, so it's maybe more comparable. And while I mentioned the HSTs, um, I'm going to go ahead and bring those up. Um, I did take two rounds uh, from the 3.1 inch barrel of both the 124 grain Federal HST and the 124 grain American Munitions, the winners of my cheap competition. And um, the American Munitions from the 3.1 inch barrel averaged 1,005 feet per second, which is 278 foot pounds of energy. So it's only slightly more than the 3.1 inch barrel of both the 115 and the 124 grain here of the XTPs, and is less than the 147 grain out of the 3.1 inch barrel. Um, but the Federal uh, HST 124 grain, the average there was 1,064 feet per second which is 312 foot-pounds of energy. So um, that is actually six foot-pounds more than out of the uh, 147 grain XTP. And if you want to compare sizes of rounds, if they'll focus here, you can see the uh, XTP here uh, expands noticeably more wider expansion um, and again, the 124 XTP has slightly more energy than the 147 grain here. So, 
I'm going to still suggest, you know, that I think the, you know, my opinion is the XTPs are good rounds, but the HSTs might be ultimately uh, better, at least uh, in my opinion. So again, um, the XTPs did really well. Um, I think if that's what you're using, you're using a solid round, a long-term performer. The availability has always been there, it's especially for reloading. When I walk down Fleet Farm Isle for the reloading material, there's always HST rounds available. Uh, excuse me, XTP rounds available um, for reloading purposes. So, uh, yeah, um, nothing I can knock here. Good performers all around. I hope you enjoyed the additional information I was able to provide this week. And uh, stay tuned for the next one.